Hey again guys, I'm back. Part 5, I think. We're on now. And I just checked my video then, and, and in part 4 I just noticed that for the last few minutes the the video, uh, my camera video just cut off and so I, you could see the screen but there was no camera image or, or and you couldn't hear my voice. So I don't know, I'll have to like, maybe keep these videos down to 10 minutes because I think memory is a problem on my computer at the moment. That might be why anyway, so... Uh, but we're just going down here and just replacing all of these bundle identifiers with the identifier that I set myself and it's going to be the identifier that I use inside of my iTunes portal as well. So this should just take a few minutes, I'm sorry this isn't very exciting. And... Alright, I think, okay, I'm just going to click save. I think we're okay. I'm going to do another search for this again, and and what we should see is that that I've got less of them here now. I guess <laughs> I don't know if I do. I don't know. I know this is commented out, but I'm going to replace it anyway for good measure. The app delegate. Boom. Um. Uh huh. Okay, com jello and I hope I hope I'm not missing anything here. I need a I need a I need a programming buddy to come and check with me as I'm doing this. I forgot what it's called, like partner programming or something. I don't know. Uh, just to make sure that you're not making any mistakes, or if you need any sort of backup or help on how to do things. That'd be very cool, I've never done that before. So, all right, next ones. We're nearly done here. Oh, crap, you see, you see, like, oh, you gotta be careful. At least I can go back and search these anyway. I just missed those two there. Everything's sort of looking blurry to me at the moment. And my eyes have been stinging a little bit recently, like, for, I think from looking at the screen just, just way too much, you know. Um, there we go, we see we're down to like two files now, guys, so we're nearly, we're nearly there. Don't worry, we're nearly there. We're going to do this. Uh, this should only take a few hours, you know, to do. I, I'm hoping that when you guys see this video, you will uh, you'll kind of um, maybe get inspired to do reskinning yourself or see that I see it as a business model, you know. And maybe think about, hey, you know, this is this is this is a good way for you to go because, um, as I've always said, like making long games is is a, is a risky business because you can spend a huge amount of time building the game and then it just doesn't make any money. And I, I saw a comment from somebody the other day on the on one of the videos, and that was saying he said, uh, "Wow, I can't believe that your smaller games make." make more money than your big games and I was I thought yeah tell me about it you know I've not replied to those those comments yet so so thanks so much for doing them guys I'm gonna reply to them very soon uh, you know as soon as I can I'll do a video uh, but he said yeah you know I can't believe your smaller games make more than your bigger games I was like yeah I, seriously I know and it, it that's happened time and time again this past couple of years um, really it, it's it's amazing uh, that that it happens like that, you know, like uh, like the game, um, uh, focus off the screen for a moment, the game, the uh, Blitz Candy Saga, or Blitz, uh, Blitz Like Candy Dash, it's called now, and that was made in three days, and that made some really like 10 to $15 every day. The game that I have now called, um, uh, what's the name of it, uh, uh, Clumsy Cookie, uh, clumsy cookie something that game was another reskin of the same code and again it it's done really well this past few this past week and it's making uh in one day it made seventy dollars in one day through chart boost uh, on average that game you know it sort of made like ten to fifteen dollars every day and it took me one or two days to reskin and I did the artwork myself and it's very basic artwork it's really really easy and it made 10 to 15 dollars every day and it made 70 dollars or 77 dollars the other day which i was really surprised and happy about 
So, uh, yeah, it's 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 one of those things. Uh, you know, I spent so many months doing. Oh, sorry, I spent so many months doing some of the other games, but they just don't make even nearly as much money as they do uh, as as some of the smaller games do. So it's it's you know why why focus on that. You know, if, if it's a labor of love for every, for anyone out there, if, it, if it's something that you just have a passion for and you just want to build games for, as a hobby, then that's great. You know, of course, uh, of course, that, that then focus on long games, focus on something that you have really have a passion for. Uh, but if you're building a business and, you, and it's not working out for you, then maybe making smaller games is really the way to do it. And because you're entertaining the player, they're getting their value, they're getting their moment of entertainment and fun. And you're making money from it, and it, it's all good. And I think we're pretty close to being done now. Hopefully, I've not missed anything. I can do a check anyway. <coughs> These are mainly for the in app purchases, you know. Um, Uh, the in-app purchases don't make a huge amount of money, so even if even if I did make an error here and one of the in-app purchases doesn't work, it, it it wouldn't be a major major problem because most of the money is made through ad networks anyway, which is cool. So we often complain about larger companies having all the 